Have you ever heard of the term stage mom? When you think about that, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Something positive or negative? In this business, when someone's saying that, it's used as an adjective and it's probably not a good thing. Hey, my name is Giselle. I'm an acting coach in New York City as well as an actor. And I know what it's like to start a career from scratch. And I just wanna help you make it a little bit easier. So I've been on a lot of sets, and I'm grateful to say I've also been on a lot of sets with kids. They're my favorite kind of scene partners. So I know what it looks like when a good parent is on set and when a very nervous parent is on set or a parent that's kind of new to what's going on or what they like to call a stage mom. So I have some tips and tricks and do's and don'ts for our performer parents. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because my last tip is a bonus tip and that one makes all the rest of them much better. Okay, so when you are on set, there's a few things you wanna make sure you do so that your kid is ready to work. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your kid is not hungry. Now there is definitely always crafty on set so you should have food for your child, your teenager, whoever you are taking care of. But you also know that people can be very picky. So there are probably a lot of things that your kid or teen just does not wanna eat. And we know when kids don't eat, they get hangry and we don't want them hangry. So you should have a bag of food with you, the favorite snacks that you know they're gonna want and enjoy, especially after a very long scene or after sitting and doing nothing for a very long time. The second thing I want you to do is make sure that they are not restless. There's a lot of hurry up and wait. So you have to be on set a certain time. You have to be ready. You have to look perfect. And then you have to sit for a very long time. And the younger you are, the harder this is to do. So you really want to make sure you have games and toys and just things to do. I mean, bring your homework because that's really the perfect thing to do on set. And the third thing is you want to make sure that your young actor is not tired. I mean, even as an adult, I have been guilty of being on sets, falling asleep. I'm in a film half asleep if you look hard enough. You want to make sure your young actor doesn't have to deal with that. Make sure they are well rested. If there's a moment where there's nothing going on, it's totally okay for them to grab a nap. No one will think ill about that. Parents, you are on set because you know your kid best. You need to know when they are at their best. You need to know when they are not at their best so you can pull them to the side and help them get there. So you can keep eyes on your child at all moments. You were at home running these lines with them. You know what the scene should look like. If you see that they're a little bit tired or you see that they might need to, I don't know, jump up and do some jumping jacks and get their energy up, it's a perfect time when they call cut to let someone know, probably the first AD, that you need to pull your kid out or that your kid needs a five minute break. Now please don't feel like you can't make friends or relax when you're on set. Just make sure you're not bothering anyone and make sure that you're having conversation with other people who are not actively busy in the moment. Other parents are great for this. Can we talk hair and makeup for a second? This is the moment that I think most parents get in trouble during. It's hard because you wanna make sure that your baby looks amazing and we want them to look amazing. But sometimes it's more about how they look for the part than how they look as the person. So pick your battles. Know that you will always want your child to look a certain way and that's not always going to be the way that they decide to style or dress your child. I have seen parents go crazy about bangs and swoops and parts on set and it's really not worth it. Let the kid be styled by the professionals the way they want to style them. Now on the other end of that, there are some moments where someone might be messing up your kid's hair or doing something that really might be bad for their hair or for their skin. Handle everything with grace. I'm not saying to let bad things slide, but make sure that you are not complaining go to the right people, have a conversation, and ask for something to be changed. Have a solution when you go to the first AD with something that needs to be changed. 
A very good tip is to know when to hand off responsibilities to your young actor and what responsibilities you should keep. If you start in the business very young, mom and dad, you will have a lot of those responsibilities. But as they get older, you want to give them more responsibilities. You want to start gradually stepping away so they are less reliant on you and they're more reliant on their self and they feel really good about taking up for themselves, having conversations with themselves, and being around a set full of adults by themselves. Let's talk about don'ts. You know, the things that you should absolutely not do on set. And the first thing is don't discipline your kids on set. Ooh, that's terrible. I shouldn't even be saying that, but really, don't do it. And this includes telling them that they're gonna get in trouble when they get home because we can totally see that on their face and then it affects their energy and their acting for at least a good 20 minutes. Keep everything as light and as fun and as a learning experience. Don't ask too many questions. I know when you're on set, there's a lot of things that you're learning and it's okay to ask questions, but it's the follow-up question for the follow-up question for the follow-up question that you probably should have Googled that you don't wanna ask. And if you have my number, text me or Instagram me because I'm much better at answering those. Okay, my bonus tip for this video, and this is a bonus because really all the tips and all of the things that I've talked about so far, if you add this to it, oh, it's gonna make it better. So, my number one tip for being on set as a parent is to have a signal with your child. There are a lot of things that are gonna go on. You wanna make sure you have a signal. You can use the same signal, but a signal for when your kid feels uncomfortable, when they need a timeout, when they need to talk to you. And it needs to be something that they can physically do so you can see them across the room and you know that you need to take a moment and pull them to the side. So it can be a look. I mean, for me and my mom, there would be moments where I would just look at her and she would know that okay, I need to go talk to my daughter. It can be them pulling their ear. Whatever you want, make sure that you have something that nobody else is tuned into that you can continually use to check in with your kid. All right, that's all the tips that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a great time on set or auditioning or whatever you're doing. And as always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz.